My name is Coach Bruce Kennedy, a motivational speaker and author. Um, born in Dallas, Texas, moved out to the suburbs of Garland. All right, so they got a speaking engagement, talking to uh, a group of men about parenting. Um, we're just going to go in there, invest into them, let them know that, man, you know, you can be more reliable, you can be more effective, you can be more of a great individual. So. I look forward to pouring into them, man. As I always say, you got your work clothes on. Time to go to work. Anybody seen the movie Baby Boy? I know it's a classic. It was a young man, he stayed with his mom, right? And he was trying to figure out his life. Every time he looked up, he was finding find himself getting in trouble in the hood. He was having one challenge or another. As time went on, he got his life right. Things start falling in place. And so I want to use that, that part of the movie as a premise of our life. Like, I want to help you talk today. I want to help us talk about being more reliable and being more effective. Because if we begin to constantly build and be more reliable and be more effective, we'll be able to build a, build a life that people can't take nothing from us. Yeah. What? So when Kobe came into the league, about say about 1996, he came in with who was it? Steve Nash, um, a dual ride. What was the name? Dude Raheem, he was a baller too. Eddie Jones, a couple different cats like that who was in the league already and, and they thought they had to do who was going to take the franchise to another level. Yeah. But th what happened with Kobe was that he, he, had, he was airballing a lot his first season. He, he was not the dude that they thought who was going to take the franchise to the next level. He started off and everything wasn't so perfect. And I say that to say about our life. Things might not start off very so perfect. So they thought they had the franchise guy, but it didn't start off so perfect. Kobe was what number at first? What? He was number eight. But when Shaq left off to Miami, what number did he become? 24. He elevated his game. I'm telling y'all fellas, you got to elevate your game to number 24. I don't know if you think about it, but if you want to look at your life as a business, then that's what you just got to do. But you got to elevate yourself and become number 24. And you got to become like reckless for the league. Hands down, you gotta be the, you gotta look at your life and your as a fatherhood and say, how can I elevate everybody? Am I elevating my family? My woman that I'm with now, my kids who I have. That's what I'm thinking for my life right now. That's what my mindset to win. I'm going to 24. And I, I, be, I believe that I'm gonna build a foundation that just won't be stripped for me when I look back at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a leave an asset in life and I'm gonna be an asset and not a liability. That life is not built off luck. Like life ain't built off love. We can't look for a Powerball. We can't look for an income tax return check to help us set it off. Like we gotta be our own break. And so when you develop that kind of skill set, whether it's going back to school to learn a trade, work on a car, do plumbing, whatever we gotta do to light that fire under us, then that's just what we gotta do. But for me, for me, when I was in school, I was in remedial classes. I was not supposed to go to college. But basketball was my leverage. Don't hustle for, turn your business into a hustle. Don't hustle for your business. So, so elevate yourself and looking at, look at everything as an opportunity inside a lifetime of an opportunity that's inside of a lifetime of an opportunity. It was hard on me, bro, like straight up, because I was doing the things I wasn't supposed to do. I took my same habits that I had and I took them over to college. I was smoking, I was drinking, I was hanging out baseball team, rodeo team. I was falling off of mechanical bulls. Now I'm not saying don't, I'm don't, you can have your drink, you can have your smoke, but don't let that be the reason why you do not get to the next level. Dudes wanted to get out there and tussle with me, they want the box. And so, but as time went on um, in that, at that job, there was one place in particular, I wanted to place in my life that happened, where I knocked on the door the first day, this dude never paid his payment. I showed up at his door, he didn't answer. The second day I knocked on the door, homeboy didn't answer. I knocked the dirt, third time, he didn't answer. So what I did was I looked through the blinds, right? And I seen that nobody was there. They had moved on. I'm going to the old address. How many times have we knocked on doors? How many times have people knocked on our door and, and looked at the labels and labeled us and called us what we used to be? Or, or in our life where, where they judging us off of our past mistakes and we done already moved on. I'm telling y'all that story to tell you that people are always gonna try to find a reason to judge you. Your BM, your baby mama is always gonna find a reason to try to belittle you. Your, your, your friends or your, your mom or your granny, they might always have something to say, but we gotta be bigger than what people have to say about us. We just gotta man up and every day go to work. Yeah. I found myself in 
myself staying with my friend after I graduated college. His name was Jimmy. Jimmy said, you can stay with me. He said, but I got two rules, no drinking and no smoking in my house. I said, I could do that. So it was about three weeks in and all of a sudden I felt this like energy in the atmosphere or some kind of gas or something didn't feel right. And I, I, I called my buddy up and his name was Zach. I called Zach up, he told me to call his dad. Mr. E, I got on the phone with him and he was like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send some guys through there. Don't worry about it. Firemen came up to me and they said, Mr. Kennedy, he says 99.9 .9 carbon monoxide in the house. He said, you should have died in your sleep. He said, if you would have lit a fire, lit a match, anything that had to do flaming, you would have blew up automatically. I tell you that story because discipline saved my life. Discipline, not desire, determines your destination.